Well, greetings once again, my friends, my fellow Star Trek fans, and my fellow modelers. Today, I got another really cool model to show you. The um, Well, those of you that follow my channel, you guys know how fond I am of AMT model kits. Love that company. Not just the Star Trek kits, but they've actually made a lot. And what I want to show you guys today is the Coca-Cola themed different model kits that I have it I'm gonna be showing you but we got a trailer and I want to show you the trailer and I'll well it's gonna go with the truck but that'll be a different video so my friends let's go over to the desk where there's more light more room and I'll show you guys the trailer that we're gonna put onto the tractor for our Christmas coca-cola model kit okay Let's check this out. Before I show you this, let me show you what it's actually gonna go with. Now I haven't shown you this yet, but we have the GMC General. And tell me that that's, if, tell me if she's not gorgeous. So I thought about different things um, because they have the Freightliner that I'm very fond of. And I thought about it and I says, you know, what I, the whole purpose of me doing this project, and I don't want to ramble on, but when I was younger, I remember seeing a video, um, a commercial actually, I think it was sometime in the 80s, it was a Christmas commercial from Coca-Cola. They actually had the, um, the truck coming down the highway to deliver Coca-Cola during the Christmas season for all the people. And what made her special was that she was totally lit up. She had lighting on the sides. It's like they had put LED strips all over the truck. And in the snow and in the Christmas setting, she looked absolutely gorgeous. They do have the model kit from AMT of the, the General, the AMC General, but it's not the Coca-Cola themed kit. This is. And it's got the decals, Coca-Cola, the real thing. So this is in 125 scale. And to, again, to make a long story short, I want to do the Christmas project where we're actually going to make her look like she did in the commercial, and we're going to light her up. I got to figure out how to do it. How the we're going to use some small LED. I, I'll I'll think of something and I'll come up with a plan. But this is the reason why I got the trailer. So let's take a look at the trailer. This one um, I had purchased this one and it was open but everything on the inside is sealed. So I want to show you this. Again, this is a, it's a different tractor. And in a commercial, they had the full, the full cab, the tractor with the uh, engine in the front, and it was the, in the nose section. So I thought that would be an amazing uh, project. So I want to show you guys this. That's why we went with the, uh, the General. Anyway, you can see the trailer because the truck, the General, doesn't come with the trailer. And this is in 125 scale. And you may not think that there's a lot that goes with this kit, because it's just basically a box, but there is, and we'll go into it. Because we have the tires, we have all the sections, we've got the lights, and of course, we're gonna light this um, in a way, especially in a way where the commercial is. I, I'm gonna see if I can put the commercial up there might be copyright uh, problems, but I will put up pictures of it. It's a really cool project. If it comes out looking the way it does in my mind, this is going to be a great project. So it shows you the picture on the front. And this is the, uh, the Fruhoff the van box. This is the trailer from AMT. We look at the side, you can see some of the detail now two positions we can do the um, assault support assembly build it raised and ready to roll or lowered for a static display and I think I'm not quite sure I'm gonna see if we can do it where we can keep it an option we can put it on the tractor or we can leave it on its own but we'll see they do have the uh, the general well excuse me not the general this is the cab over truck um, as far as I know, this is the one that was made to go with this. So, and again, this isn't the one that was in the commercial. It was the, uh, the other one. And you can see a picture of the, uh, the side. 
movable select a point of tandem sliding suspension and this is in 125 scale and this measures over 19 inches long so again my love of AMT models you can see how there's really a good um, quality for detail authentically detailed F2 tandem suspension and you can see added to your collection the short hauler I love this model I'm on the lookout for this one um, I do have the one where we got the vending machines and I'll, I'm gonna actually make a video of all my coca-cola themed model kits from AMT because it's really cool and you can see eight authentic vinyl Goodyear custom high miller high miler tires you can see the, the chrome the rims and the doors swing open to reveal fully detailed floor and body panels. And I actually did a quick video when I bought the um, 125 scale two cases of the, uh, the Coca-Cola that we're going to put in the back. And I'm going to look for a, uh, a hand truck, for a 125 scale hand truck that that will add to it. That will be pretty cool. So those are the sides of the box. When we look at the end, you can see the Fruhoff van. And this is AMT kit number 119, uh, excuse me, 1109-06. And I think it's the same on both ends of the box. And it is. So when you look at the bottom, you actually see a parts tree. And this is, I love this option that they do to show you what's in it. You can see the panels. You can see the, uh, the trees the parts trees as well as the decal sheet and again this is coca-cola amt 1109-06 125 scale plastic model kit ford motor company trademark so this is pretty going to be a really fun project so let's go ahead and we'll open it up and i'm going to put the light on now So what this has is um, you've got the protective piece of cardboard to keep everything nice and safe. So let's put that aside for now. All right, let's take a look. First thing I notice, we have the tires, the Goodyear tires. So I'm going to open it up to show you guys. And in addition to the tires, important to show you guys it has the axles as well so we'll put those aside for a moment and it's two separate compartments one had the, the axles and one has the tires let's see in total there is one two three There's eight of them. And I'll show you the detail on these little guys. These are really cool. And these are vinyl. And the pictures should show it a lot better. But I want to show you guys the detail in it with the uh, Goodyear logo. And hopefully, you guys can see the tread. So those are the tires. Um, speaking of the tires, next up you can see the, the rims. So let's go ahead and open this up. Look at that, we got the chrome pieces. We'll start with the, uh, the rims. Nice. beautiful uh, let's see what else we got on here it looks like we have a couple of gauges well these could be for the actually for the tail lights yeah I think these are for the tail lights and by the way absolutely we're gonna light everything so we'll put a couple of SMDs in there and I don't know if there's gonna be a clear part to put over We'll have to paint it, but we'll see. So you can see the tail light sections, and I'm not quite sure what this is. And 
Let's see. These pieces, I don't know if these are covers for the rims or the tires in the center. Um, nope, I don't see it. Something different, so maybe these are different. I'm not quite sure what these are. It could be more lights, I'm not sure. And you can see we have these little pieces. I'm not quite sure what they are either. We'll find it all out in the instructions. All right, so let's take a look at the actual parts tree. This is the one, it looks like I can see the mud flaps. This is gonna be really fun. I love doing truck models. Um, of course, mine always came out looking terrible. Hopefully, I've, my modeling skills have improved. So, this is where the, um, the axles are gonna go into. Let me show you guys. We've got two axles and they're gonna go in and that's how it's gonna be, uh, we're gonna be able to roll it. But you can see the pieces that the tires are gonna go on. It looks like one of them fell off and I'll show you that in a minute. Uh, there's a little bit of flash, that's okay. This should be cleaned up very nicely. Um, you can see it looks like a compression tank and we've got a couple of um, support pieces that are gonna go underneath. And lastly, there are these long pieces. I'm not quite sure what they are yet. Again, we'll find out in the instructions. The next part's tree. Pretty fun. Look at, you can see the, the mud flaps. The Fruhoff. And what is that on the bottom? Anti-sail. I think that says anti-sail. Anti-sar, I don't know. But the photos will look a lot more clearer, and I'll be able to read it a lot better. Um, let's see. Again, we have some of the suspension. I think these are the leaf springs that are gonna go on either side, and the, the axles are gonna rest on. Let's see, this could be a chassis, yeah. Part of a chassis that the wheels are going to be attached to. Incidentally, here is that piece that fell off the rim. So this is going to be really, really fun. And especially the way, if it comes out looking the way it is in my brain, it's going to be amazing. Really fun Christmas kit. And look at the detail. How beautiful is that? You can see this is the front, the front section. And you can see the mechanism for the refrigeration. Um, this one doesn't have the refrigeration hanging off the front, kind of like, uh, you know, like a box truck might have with the, uh, the AC. This one looks a little more, well, expensive. <laughs> it's got to bring you your, your Coca-Cola. And in this case, we're going to make it for the holiday season. You can see the... The printing on the back of that section and I think that's everything the last thing in the bag is we have another piece of the chassis probably a cross section okay so I look again I see some some more parts and I see clear parts and look at how I love it look at they have the brake lines so we've got the lines and we have the uh, I'll take this out and show you guys. So these are the clear parts. We have red and we have yellow. So looking at the yellow parts, looks like a lot of lenses and a lot of lights. See, you notice there are lights that run along the trailer on either side, um, at the corners, in the backs. What will make it easy because this is a nice large kit, so lighting all these up won't be hard. It will be actually pretty easy because of the size. So these are the yellow, and now we have the red. And like I showed you the chrome part, a little 
tiny SMD will light up the lights, the brake lights as well. So I think this is going to be really fun. All right, what else we got? Looks like we got another package that has more parts. And again, you wouldn't think there would be a lot of parts just because it's a trailer, but there actually are a lot of parts involved. So what this has is we have the rims. You can see how beautiful that is, the detail. There's a little bit of flash, but that'll clear up. That'll clean up nicely. Looks like we have more of the chassis and more of the supports. I think this is for, um, yeah, the supports. Uh, let's see, next up, we got a couple of more panels. It looks like we got the door on one side, right down to the lock, the locking mechanism, and I'm not quite sure what this section is yet. We'll see in the instructions. Again, we have a large section. I'm not quite sure what this is going to be for. Uh, let's see, it looks like there's some writing on it. For decals. And we have the Another part of the chassis, a fuller piece. Always fun. And lastly, it looks like we have another door. Yep. It looks like we can actually be opening the doors. And Frohoff, I hope I'm pronouncing that correctly. All right, it looks like we have one more parts tree bag and this is this is going to show you how large the model kit is going to be so 125 scale so let's open this up all right first off look at that so this thing is going to be huge and i love this look at Hopefully you guys can see, this is the inside part of the truck, or the trailer. Can you see the wood grain? That's an amazing detail. And since we're going to open it up, um, I want to be able to see that. So we're going we're gonna to paint this as well, and we're going to make it where you can see all the wood and all the grain. That's a great touch. They could have just left it flat. And I think this is the top of the trailer. So, could be the bottom. I'm not, I'm not sure now, but you can see the, the bolts. This might actually be the outside with the wood. Could be the floor. Anyway, we'll see in the instructions. Um, where can I put this? I'll put this over here for now. <clears throat> actually, let me. I can get away with putting it there. All right, the next section is this could be the top. Again, I'm not sure. I don't want to speculate, but you can see the inside. The next one, you can see the side. I love the detail. Look at that. And this is the front of the trailer. You can see where there's going to be lights. Lights in the middle and lights at the end. How do I know this is the end? <laughs> Look, you can see where the door is going to attach to. And this will be the top. All right. And lastly, the last piece is we have the other side. Again, look at the detail. You can see the R on it, so that would be the right side. Again, this is going to be amazing. So the lights would have been on the bottom of the trailer. So those are the parts. Um, it's really fun. This is going to be an awesome build. And again, 
if you're like me, you're thinking because it's a tr it's a trailer, there wouldn't be much to the model kit, but there is a lot. So let's take a look at the decals now before we look at the instructions. So you can see the protective paper, and let's put this over here. Look at that, beautiful. A big Coca-Cola sign that's gonna go on the side of the trailer. And I don't know about you guys, but I do enjoy my Coke. It's funny because I always loved Coke, and then the 80s, they actually changed and made it a new recipe, and it was terrible. It tasted like flat Pepsi. But they ended up going back, calling it Coke Classic. But while they had that, I didn't like it anymore, so I ended up starting to drink Diet Coke because that ended up staying the same recipe. And I ended up getting a taste for the Diet Coke because they taste totally different. Um, but I do love Diet Coke, and I've actually kind of stuck to that up until this day. So I would prefer Diet Coke over the regular Coke now. But anyway, you can see the, the Coca-Cola sign, and you can see the little... Um, little danger or advising um, lines, the black and the yellow. And you can see the other side. See, is, yep, there's one that goes on the back doors as well. Let's see, we're going to have to cut that. I don't know if we'll, we'll have to cut it if we're going to open it up, and I think this would be the one. And then we have the tractor door panels. It says tractor door panels not included. You can see another sign. And look at how small the details for that is so cool. Not quite sure where they're gonna go. And then we have the smaller Coca-Cola symbol in red. And then we have the real thing. Um, let's see, where is that gonna go? We'll find out in the instructions. And we have numbers for the trailer. Have a good day, Coca-Cola symbol. Looking over to this side now, you can see all the warning signs, license plates. Um, I think this is these are going to go on the, well, maybe not. I thought they were going to go on to the mud flaps, but maybe not. You can see the numbers for the trailer and the, uh, the license plates. You can see caution, wide turns, and different, uh, different markings for the truck. And then we have the Coca-Cola license plates. I think that's what we'll go with. This vehicle stops at all railroad crossings. So that's basically the, the decal sheet. So that's pretty cool. And let's take a look now. Finally, we're going to take a look at the instructions. You can see this is kit A1109-200. Read this before you both begin. AMT kits are molded from the finest high-impact styrene plastic. Use only paint and cement made for styrene. So, when we go down, we can see step number one. We've got the suspension assemblies. Paint all suspension parts in steps one and two, except for the chrome parts. Note, these views shown are upside down. You can see how it's gonna end up looking eventually. But we'll paint that. That's gonna be really fun. The whole thing is gonna be fun. And you can see another part 1B, I guess you would call it. We get the brackets. And the air chambers, that's what those were. You can see how they're going to go over the, uh, the metal axle. And step two, we got the radius rod. The other axle, it's going to go in. The push rod, the slack adjuster. You can see the, the air brake tank how it's going to go. The, uh, you can see the suspension assembly, 
It's going to look really cool when it's all painted up. And this is from 2018. Hopefully you guys can, can see that. The wheels. Four sets of wheels are shown. You can see how the assembly is going to go. And step four is the final assembly. So they got a, a lot going on in this step. You can see the, um, the brake lines. Black vinyl tubing for all air hoses. Note, attached to the holes in the floor bottom, cross member, and the air hose brackets. You can see the, splug, the splash guards, um, the lettering, and it shows the uh, O for the paint. Uh, the painting key. Note, slide the suspension assembly onto the subframe rails. Do not cement. Of course, that way there we can uh, adjust it and move it. You can see the front of the cab. And this is what I was wondering what this was. The kingpin for the fifth wheel on a tractor. And it says tractor not included. Obviously, we got that in a separate kit. You can see the body front wall. The interior color would be F on the painting key. And you can see the, um, the support parts. And this is gonna go, if it's gonna be static, or we're gonna make it to be actually on the tractor. You can see the sides that are gonna go on. The top and the bottoms, it's gonna come together and we got the doors. Again, we're gonna be able to open them. Note, use cement only in the shaded areas and do not cement the touch hinge area because the door will not open properly. So we want to be able to open it up to see the, the little coke cases that we're going to have inside as well as the detail. And let's see, select the point slider locking mechanism. Do not cement. So we can adjust that. And lastly, you've got the decal placement as well as the painting key. So let me show you the painting key first. So the colors we're gonna need, we've got black, flat black, semi-gloss black, white, flat white, silver, chrome, or bright silver, and aluminum. It is recommended that you search the internet for additional color references and details. And what I want to do is, I want to use the commercial as a reference because I want to make the truck look like she did all lit up in the Christmas commercial. So looking at the back of the truck for the decal placement, you can see the, the emblem and the Fruhoff logo is going to go on top. You can see where the decal placements are going to go. Looking over, you can see the options we have for the different license plates. And on top, you can see the, the decal, the huge decal that's going to go on the side. So, interesting, they have some of the decals that are actually for the trailer. For placement info only, tractor is not included. And again, we're not going to use the flat front. We're going to go with more of the, the one with the long nose, just like the one in the commercial. And you can see, finally, the back back of the trailer the logo and again we're going to be opening the door so we're going to have to cut that so that is a look at the uh the instruction sheet and that's everything in the box so this is going to be a really really fun build again this is going to be like a christmas build let me shut the light because it uh because of the glare so this is going to be really fun so if you guys are wondering what was in this model kit, um, I hope I satisfied your curiosity. And again, you think, well, it's just a trailer, but there's a lot to it. And a model kit of this on its own would be uh, a project. So we're gonna do it, and it'll be easier for me to light the edges the way it looked in the commercial with the trailer rather than the truck. But we're gonna come up with a plan um, the next video I'll show you is we'll show you, we'll take a look at actually the tractor. So let me bring her back out.
again this is the one that was in the commercial so that's why we're going to go with this but this is the general so the next video in this series is I'll show you this model kit we'll take a look at everything the unboxing everything and then the video after that I'm going to come up with a plan on how to light it and again the finished product I'm hoping is going to be like in the commercial which is going to be really fun so my friends I hope you enjoyed this video on the Fruhoff van trailer and in this instance it's for the coca-cola and we're going to use it as seen in the commercial with the full model kit so my friends until the next video in this series thank you so much for watching and i'll talk to you guys really soon